Okay, so next video, which is this video, I will show you how to do a consolidated self bill invoice. Okay, uh, to do this is pretty much also straightforward and same uh, on doing a standard self billing. Just you need to do and uh, one more extra step. So let's move on and we do a self bill consolidated self bill invoice. So we click new. Okay, so on top here, you will realize there is something called consolidated self-bill. So you might tick on this and you can copy from the uh, scenarios that you want to do self-billing. For example, payment of uh, commission. Let's say these are the two payment of commission that I wish to do. So I can just click OK. And it will be generated accordingly. Uh, so this one is from the uh, PV2 and this one is from the PV3. So the classification will also automatically uh, auto be assigned with 004, which is consolidated. And the TIN number used will also be auto use the general TIN. And of course, if you want to see the source document, you can click on here. It will show which is which and the rest is the same. So we can just approve and we click refresh, waiting for it to be submitted. And is validated. Okay, so let's have a view in our My Invoice portal. So you can see this is the consolidated, consolidated self view where the uh, general team is used. And also we have the uh, classification of 004 being used. So to do consolidated self-billing is pretty much the same. The only thing difference is you have to take this consolidated self-view. And when you copy, you can copy multiple documents. Of course, uh, when do you need consolidated self-view? Uh, it depends on situation. For now, during the relaxation period, uh, you're allowed to do consolidated self-billing. But other than that, you will have to refer to the LHDN guideline on uh, whichever things that you are allowed to do consolidated self-view. All right, and that's all for this video.